Yo, yo, what up, my beautiful Davides? How's everyone doing today? I'm your host, Foul. Let's talk about the first special program from ZZZ. To start off the special program, they instantly went with a banger of a music video. I really enjoyed this because it was a bit different. I think from the get-go, Zenoson Zero is trying to really be different in the market. You know, they're really trying to make a change. They're really trying to stand out from all the other gacha games out there. And I think so far, they're actually doing a very good job on letting us know that it's not going to be the same. After watching this live stream, I got more excited and the things they showed were very promising. So right after the song ended in a very nice transition to go to the TV, then we see, of course, that way. And then the game producer from Zelda on Zero, they talked together and they did the good old entertainment. They introduced themselves and talked a bit about what we can expect about ZZZ, what type of game it is. And they instantly talked about how their story is going to be very thrilling. They're excited for us to know, to unravel what the story is going to hold. Then one of the greatest things in this special program, they instantly talked about the skip button. There's going to be a skip feature in the game, which I'm very hyped for. I just like the option to be there, you know, because it is not about the story, even though the story and the characters are a very big thing, especially the characters, how they are, you know, what their lore is. It is about the combat, you know, and people play for the combat. So if you have to be stuck in all this dialogue all the time when you maybe don't care, I find that very weird. You know, if you want to play a story game, you play a story game. You watch a movie or re read the book, you know, if you really want to get invested in that. But we're playing a game here. We want to play the combat. We want to kill some stuff. We want to defeat some monsters, you know, so the skip function is by far the greatest feature okay impact third also had a skip feature correct me if i'm wrong but out of the big three you know genshin hsr and i was on this on zero it's going to be the first one with the skip feature which is very nice then we get to know joseph the narrative designer and he talked about the hollows and what they were hollows are pitch black spheres they're highly dangerous and mysterious supernatural disaster internal space inside it is distorted and chaotic resembling a labyrinth and he talked about a mysterious substance produced inside the hollows called ether or ether i think it's ether very corruptive and can, things can mutate from it transforming people into ethereals then it talked about the proxies and that we have of course wise and bell brother and sister which is going to be the main characters the main protagonist they showed off how they looked a little bit i really like their designs personally because they're unique you know i feel like in a lot of games and a lot of gacha games when they have the main protagonist you can clearly see it's just a male version and a female version i actually like it at this game Game, they're kind of two separate beings you know and i think that's very interesting and i like that they went that path for once to see how that's going to go with the community a little cutscene about all the different groups and who are in those groups and i'm pretty sure they actually showed some new characters in here if i'm not mistaken i don't know like characters that i haven't seen before of course the new characters that got drip market are in there lucy and piper and we get all the other groups and we can see them all in their glory and standing very cool so this is very nice I think that's why it's very needed to really show how the roster is looking, you know, so what we can expect. We have the cunning hairs. I think that's how you say it. Harry's, Harris. Cunning hairs are always available from the right price. And we got the Balabak Heavy Industries. Their goal is not to build a house, but a home. Very nice title. <laughs> I think that I kind of like it myself, to be fair. Very good. And then we have the Victoria Housekeeping Co. Thank you for using Victoria Housekeeping. Your wishes are command. You know, they're the mates and the cleanup crew i guess you can call them then we have the criminal investigation special response team if you encounter any trouble please contact new eridu public security the hollow special operation section six eradicate all evil we decide for ourselves what evil is and then we got the new one sons of caledon i come i see i crash you know these are like the the bikers and these are going to be the new cards like a drip market of course and then we got a ball squad and i'm not really sure about that and the virtual idols you know i didn't really get those two but hey those are in there as well then they went to the next part where we talk to talk about the combat you know that it's very satisfying and how did the team try to achieve this satisfying feeling it's about design perspective how everything was prioritized to be refined and how the feel makes everything so smooth you know with camera shaking or lighting you know that just went into detail on how they really tried to do that then they showed off some gameplay, which is very cool. You know, for us proxies to feel that satisfaction, to make it easier, they created chain attacks. When it comes to the offense, proxies use agents to attack enemies to build up the daze bar, which is that yellow status bar. And when daze is maxed out, enemies are stunned. And after launching approximate attack, pro proxies can choose an agent to activate their chain attack. You know, and they can really cycle through these characters. And that really showed what we can do with that. Apart from the satisfying offensive design, there's also defense options. And these defense options are called perfect assist system. And what it is, it's a yellow flash during the enemy's attack. And if you perfectly switch your 
agents you can interrupt the enemies but also launch up a follow-up attack and i think this is very cool it looks very clean and they hope that with the offense and defense strategies in the game or the feel of it that the combat there is going to be very satisfying you know they showed us a little bit how the low barrier with a high skill ceiling that's what they try to do to uh, allow players with no experience with action games to get the, the feeling Meanwhile, they also provide high skill ceiling for players who are experienced in action games. So this is actually something very interesting in my opinion. This is exactly what I wanted from this game. I do hope that this game is going to be good for everyone. And if you want that challenge, that you're going to get that challenge. That is something that is going to keep this game alive for a very long time. Next, we get to talk to the gameplay designer. And they talked about the designs of the agents. And then they showed off the new agents, which is very cool. They show off Piper with her hammer. And they say that she is going to be a physical attribute agent with the anomaly speciality and she can gradually build up power her gameplay is actually looking pretty fun and then of course the other character lucy lucy is a fire attribute support agent that leads her guard force to attack the enemy and provides buffs to all agents in the squad which is looking like a very interesting concept i think it's probably going to be very nice supportive units to have in your team looking very cool they were like nah you know, those two were not enough, so they showed two other agents. Zhu Yuan is an other tech agent. Her burst damage is exceptional, they say. They look very clean. I really like their animations. And showing these two really showed the diversity in the game, you know. Ellen, and she's an ice attribute agent with the attack specialty. And she's from the Victoria Housekeeping, of course, because she's wearing that maid dress again. The top fighter in there. Then they talked about the Bangboos, that they're also on the battlefield. These little guys. Bangboo are widely used personal AI devices that are part of every day. That we might also bump into different shapes and sizes. They talked about how they have effect in battle. Combat, not only will Bangboo use active skills and fight based on the current battlefield situation but they can also join in with trigger chain attacks which is very cool in my opinion i think they are going to be very big for making team compositions and stuff they're very cute and strong and they talked about polishing the bang boom movement and gameplay over and over to make the best experience for us you know but they put a lot of effort in that i said that to ensure that they were the best that they could be that they're not going to monetize it which is very interesting is that a special reason because it feels unsatisfying even if the bang boo are free to pull in game where do you get Boopons used for Bang Boo pulls? Boopons are mostly won through events and different gameplay modes. That's what they said there as well. Based on the feedback that they were getting, they increased the Boopon rewards in events, which is very nice for us. And something that the players said wasn't very satisfying was the possibility of getting bad pulls in the Bang Boo channel. So they've made some improvements to that, which is very cool. You won't be losing S rank pulls to unwanted Bang Boos and very good. And you can select your favorite Bang Boo to obtain in a signal search. The pity system is 80 here, which is very nice. I'm pretty sure this means that they took away the 50-50 system and just get 100% bang boos now which is very nice and now we can select specific one that you desire and then they made an, an insane transition again and this look this next shot really i really like they uh made some very cool animation for like coffee making and the production value for this was like unnecessary good in my opinion i don't know why they did this but this looked insanely clean to me i really liked the animation they did with this coffee making part and then they had another really cool transition again to the actual real coffee. Showed off a little bit parts of the world that they really wanted to pay attention to the details. So it can give more satisfaction to us. They expanded the areas. They added a lot of unique things, you know. And it's looking actually very cool here. Very uh, surprised to see that they expanded all of this. And it talked about showing culture and expression for humans. And it looks like you can go to like a second floor somewhere to a bedroom. And then go onto the bed and sleep. So as the rest itself, they said we further enhanced the agent trust event immersion. And on top of that, they talked about inviting agents to hang out. And they said no need to wait. You can send them DMs and invite a agents. Arrange a meetup. You can get to know these characters very good. And then they said about in the official release, you can invite any agent who has officially debuted in the main story. So that's a good thing to know. They've also improved the exploration system and they were a little bit worried that we might get lost and we might be unsure where to go. And they said, don't worry because we have a officer. It's a cat, Officer Mew Mew. And they will give us hints on what we need to do next. This is a very cute little overworld expansion, you know, very nice. On the map, there, there are Bang Boo waiting for help from us. Then we have to do, do little missions for them. And this is going to be maybe fill a little bit of the void that we had in the exploration department. They improved on that. Then they went back to the gameplay. What major gameplay updates do we have? And then they talked about the Hollow Zero gameplay, the 
the Horror Zero game is a special overworld map and it's a permanent gameplay mode, but long term replayability, you know, all the good stuff is always nice to hear. You're gonna get updating basic challenge content and high level rewards. And story development for key agents will also occur here. The Hollow Zero also touches on our game underlying lore while challenging difficulty roguelike gameplay. Proxies can use it to learn more about the new Eridu and its hidden secrets. Get some upgrades. You have four of these power-ups of the same type. And you get a bonus enhancement. And then you get a cool animation. The vent looks kind of different, they said. As you build trust with the agents, you can trigger special and interesting events in the Hollow Zero. That's not only offer exclusive upgrades, but also helps proxies understand these agents better. And trust system we saw earlier can impact agents when inside the hollows. Then they, see it, they showed another mode where the bangboos are in touch. And if we explore the Hollow Zero, we can try the bangboos who's in there as well they showed us some different bosses they showed some more gameplay battling with one of these bosses and i'm not gonna lie the gameplay is looking very nice i'm super excited to play this on release he even said that the experience in zzz is mainly the combat looking very good and promising for all the gameplay stuff then at the end of the live stream they are all of a sudden dropping and we're gonna get 100 free pulls and 80 boupons which is crazy they did a little funny joke where it was first 80-80 and it wasn't enough and then they upped it to 100. This is very sick. For a new game, dropping so many tickets and summons, you know, it's going to be very satisfying to play this game and pick it up. On top of that, we also get a redemption code. So don't forget to put that redemption code in when the game is launched. You know, it's going to go live on the July 4th. So make sure to put this into the game to get some extra reward. And then we're going to get a special offline event coming to 15 different cities and a pre-journey stock up redraw event has begun the qr code and then at the end they just talked about thank you for the patience you know that we're you've been patient for a very long time because ccc has been speculated and talked about for a very long time time is finally there you know we only have to wait one more week now and we can pre-download from july 2nd and of course the game will officially release on all cross platforms on july 4th very exciting time guys this was going to be the end of the live stream which means that was the end of the first ever live stream for ccc I really liked actually that this live stream was very short, you know, it was like less than 30 minutes, I think. It was quick and straight to the point. They showed the stuff, we could continue with our lives again, you know, it was the information, the gameplay, the visuals, what their plans were. They just put it in a quick live stream. Very satisfying to watch, it was very nice. Hopefully they're going to keep up this live stream pace with the upcoming patches as well. I personally really like when live streams are straight to the point and we don't do unnecessary stuff. So hopefully they're going to continue to do like that. I hope everyone is excited for this game. It's almost time, guys. And hopefully this highlight video showed you a little bit more of what you can expect from CCZ. Hey, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. It means the world to me if you could do that. Make sure to join the Discord. We're trying to grow the community even further. And if you want to support the channel even further, then become a member. I love you all and have a wonderful day. And I'll see everyone in the next video. Take care. Peace.